Oh, hey, good morning, everybody. Let's take a look at the Drudge Report, and I'll get you caught up to date, and then we can uh, close out our weekend on Sunday here uh, a little bit early, and um, I shan't bother you again for this uh, weekend, and we'll uh, start catching up on things on Monday. Uh, the, uh, the quake um, that uh, may or may not be a warning to a bunch of um, subhuman animals that are demonic and making you, as somebody who does not subscribe here to this channel, m move you into really great danger, at least theoretical danger, because they're trying to warn you by these events, in my opinion. The gods or God or I have been trying to warn you and you do not want to stop being demonic. So we're going to have to probably have some sort of teaching effect through pain and suffering. That's probably what's going to happen. Anyways, tri-state area uh, quake felt by 40 million. Now there's evidently aftershocks. Um, okay, conspiracy theorists link quake to solar eclipse. Um, I don't know one way or another. Sometimes they'll tell you things that will make you feel like you're real stupid when you're exactly on the problem. And uh, I can't tell you that one way or another. Uh, well, here's... Uh, 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 <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene says repent. Well, it sounds like she's been listening to this channel right here. Sounds like she's been listening to this channel here, okay? Unfortunately for that little uh, dish, uh, she doesn't understand what I understand, as well-connected as she is. Okay, uh, cloudy skies are going to uh, overshadow the uh, celestial events in many places. Uh, Israel, U.S. believed Iran about to retaliate for the Syria consulate bombing, officials say. Uh, says a quote-unquote significant attack within weeks, within a week. And you must also understand that you have to, with asymmetric warfare, you need to pay attention to the unseen and the unobserved. So there is a chance that things that are going wrong for you uh, may be a product of a deliberate measure. Now, I don't know because I don't know if they can control the weather or natural disasters, but that's certainly something to keep in the back of your mind. Um, peace feels further than ever at six months of Hamas war. Again, in order to make stupid people who follow blindly believe anything, this is designed to make you believe that Hamas, this is a Hamas war. So, um, in fact, I'm beginning to think that there is no Hamas. Uh, I believe it's a creation of bibs and people of uh, very similar persuasion from what I understand, it was a term brought forth by uh, at Israel's suggestion. Uh, so I'm not sure that this is even uh, a relevant term. But it works good on Mindless Idiots Like You. Subscribe to this channel. You won't. You'll be undumb. You can move out of your dumbness and stupidness. All right. Hezbollah leader issues new warning. Inside uh, Joe Biden's uh, theater of uh, supposedly giving Bibby there uh, an ultimatum of we won't support you, of course, after they have a massive, massive delivery of weapons, of course Israel won't need us anymore. They'll have all kinds of weapons to do the bidding of the demons. Stand by. Uh, so a great big con job with this, folks. Uh, uh, Biden's ultimatum to Bibi, we won't support you, is absolutely true. We won't support you. That's absolutely true. But when Israel has enough destructive force, it won't be necessary for uh, Biden to support Israel anymore because uh, Israel will be independently functioning. So it, it's more games for you stupid, mindless, corrupt, demonic pieces of filth, okay? I got a friend, I got a friend, and you know, our family is uh, friends, uh, you know, the usual garbage, the usual filth, we won't get into it. 
Okay, it says that uh, Tesla is falling to earth. A lot of um, posts about broken cyber trucks. Uh, fill the owner's forms. Now that's very interesting because I went on YouTube today and all it is is a lot of um, uh, mostly young people that are that have bought these trucks and are giving rave reviews and of course leaving you a link to buy one. So I'm not surprised. So they'll probably um, make sure that you can't put any negative review. I didn't see a one. I saw maybe like 20 or 30 glowing reviews of these. So I don't buy anything of what we read here, folks. I know you do because you're mindless, stupid, demonic fools. But here you become undemonic and you become smart. And now again, just like I told you, a lot of you didn't believe me, okay? Because some of you are Republicans that come to this channel. Uh, it says uh, Joe Blow's astonishing polling comeback. They're saying he's up by 10 points over ex-president Donald Clinton. And you know that I've been telling you this over and over and over again. Trump is as dead as my sex life. Do you understand? And that's pretty dead. It's over for Trump. And it's all for show. Everything here is all for show. What you do or cast makes no difference at all, in my opinion. Let's continue. So there's a big comeback for old Joe Blow, is there? Yep, yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, now, I'm sorry to tell you, but the Florida Democrats think abortion issue could turn tide. Um, Trump just uh, bragged about overturning Roe versus Wade. Uh, again, um, abortion is an extremely complicated issue. I can't think of a more complicated issue you could ever work on. And um, there's just too much problems with dealing with it one way or another. And here we have it. Okay. So absolutely. Uh, when you get ready to tell women that they're going to have to appear in front of panels to determine whether or not there's sufficient cause for them being raped in order to be able to get a termination of pregnancy, et cetera, et cetera. This is what the Republicans and their foolish, idiotic, stupid behavior uh, are bringing on uh, to themselves and us. Again, I don't get mad at you. Well, I do get a little bit mad at you for not worshiping me as a god. And for you Republicans, I know it's very difficult for you to worship me as a God because you have the same hubris as the rest of those stupid Democrats. You think you're real smart and you're not smart at all. You don't know anything. You are undermining your party, getting ready to turn into the Whig party because you are not going to sell women on the idea of stopping abortions. And I remind you that women make up a great deal of the votership. We won't get into this. It speaks for itself anyway. Uh, one in five GOP primary voters keep bucking Trump. Uh, again, it's part of this um, deliberate attempt by the Drudge Report to keep putting negative stories out to make it so that you don't want to vote or making it so that you don't want to try to cast your vote or do what you can. Um, this has been an ongoing thing. Unfortunately, even though that is the campaign, they are right. They're right. This is all over before it even started. Trump is as dead as my sex life and going to get deader. A congressman unveiled bill to rename federal prison after the Don. Terrific. Okay, LeBron James' son enters NBA draft. Well, good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Okay. Near miss cyber attack puts U.S. officials and tech industry on edge. Jobs roar again. As you see, we're just, uh, people are coming over and beating us with a stick and just threatening to kill us if we don't accept their job. Santelli stunned. It's absolutely stunned. Okay, wonderful. That's great. Biden says economy world's best. 
Trump calls cesspool. Data sides with Joe. Of course, they have to put a good spin on this for you. Hang on. Hence, gold going up to over $2,200. Stand by. Uh, sorry, folks, for the delay. Uh, we are going to take a look at how great this economy is uh, by looking at the bellwether. And the bellwether is something that indicates a reliable indicator of standby, folks. Uh, sorry, folks, it was it, uh, a bellwether is a term used for a small area or contingency which reflects an accurate uh, portrayal of the truth of something. Now, let me show you what we have here. This is uh, recent. Um, okay, gold, we've got it right now. The bid price is $2,330. Asking price is two uh, two thousand three hundred and thirty. Um, so gold is going up by the day. Uh, we will try to take a look. Uh, looks like Bitcoin is at sixty eight thousand one hundred, and we will take a look at uh, silver. Uh, silver has come down. Now you see, I used to talk to you about this a little bit. Uh, the gold to silver ratio is now. 84.88 and what that means is that silver is gaining by percentage on gold which you can expect I would expect uh, silver to start moving closer to around 66 to 68 uh, to 1 which means that the higher gold goes uh, the more likely silver is to start advancing on the price of gold simply for the fact that silver starts looking very attractive when faced with the idea of having to put out 2300 almost $2,400 for a simple piece of gold. Now, let's finish out the uh, Drudge Report and hang on a second, please. Uh, so I see a great deal of potential um, in uh, silver, both uh, short term and longer term. So let's uh, finish out the Drudge Report and we will be done. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Border crisis might be a boom for the economy. Boom for the economy. Of course. That's what they feed you stupid idiots. And that's what you believe. But it has nothing to do with the economy. It has to do with adopting stupidity and uh, just being with unwashed masses which uh, do not share um, your uh, societal values and your, you know, I'm sorry to tell you that, but people think I'm a bad guy. Well, oh well. All right, let's see. But don't worry, it might be very, very good, okay? You want people beating up your military people to get into the country, okay? That shows drive, okay? That's perfect. Okay, extreme market swings dominate as oil feed anxiety. Oil feed anxiety. Futuristic cars where drivers sleep while driving. Well, what better to get into those little small pea brains of yours, those little microscopic brains of yours, than um, to tell you about battery-powered cars and all the intelligence that's going to think just like you. Okay. Okay, uh, Rex Reed, new Woody Allen, best in years. That surprises me because Woody Allen's little tricks and so forth, I love them, but I thought the days are long done of Woody Allen. Stand by. Okay, folks, we're almost done here. Uh, all right, we're past uh, cars that uh, let you sleep while you uh, drive away your car as it drives you in complete protection. And uh, the new Woody Allen, best in years, um, you know, that whole thing where he used to talk to the camera and stuff, that's all passe. I mean, he did do some funny stuff, but I mean, that was 50 years ago, folks. 52 years ago. 55 years ago. God's sakes. All right, let's see. UN adopts first resolution to protect rights of intersex people. Okay, intersex. Stand by. Oh, okay, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, very, very busy. All right, so uh, the UN uh, will now uh, give a 
Protection rights of intersex people. Okay, fine. Well, maybe that's a town of intersex. Isn't there something... Uh, there's a Middlesex, Connecticut. Maybe we can kind of fill in for that. Maybe we could just kind of adapt that. Um, okay, bird flu coming to people next. Question mark. Are we ready? Question mark. Well, uh, the DCD is taking this very, very seriously. Or actually, I overstress that very seriously. Uh, quote unquote outbreak widens in Ohio, Kansas, and New Mexico. All right, IRS targeting middle class taxpayers for audits after $80 billion infusion. Sheriff deputy had double life with outlaw motorcycle gang. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, one time when I was cutting a yard, I had problems with uh, one of the, some, some customer who had a son who was um, a police officer here and uh, he wasn't a nice guy at all. And he wanted to, he was like a young man. He was like 45 years old and 43 and he wanted to retire because he liked riding his uh, bike and hanging around the pools so what can i tell you all right let's have a look here okay the saudis are scaling back their ambition for a 1.5 trillion dollar desert project well they're doing something it's either you know um uh, it's either um ice skating rinks out there in the desert or whatever it is uh, uh P. Diddy bodyguard claims music mogul has tapes of politician and princes. I wouldn't doubt it. A new rape suit may have investigated and uh, in, in instigated the raids. Uh, inside ultraviolet metal band shows that leaves revelers covered in blood. Well, you just want to get the most out of your experience of watching that band, I would think. Um, FBI examining free airfare upgrades received by New York City mayor. Probably all a big misunderstanding, I would think. Uh, Peru leader says Rolexes were a, quote, loan, unquote. Bracelet wasn't Cartier. Okay. <laughs> Malls dying. Uh, what comes next? Well, folks... Malls were the creation of, uh, they were like a phenomenon. Uh, there was even a movie made about one called Dawn of the Dead. It was essentially about a mall. That's essentially what it was about, um, more or less. And it was really amazing. And uh, they were like their own life form in the 70s. Uh, and they ran through from about 69, late 60s, very late 60s, until about the mid 80s and they started running out of steam as i recall around 87 and they were still very active right through the 90s okay cuba guarantees food rations in bid to diffuse tension i did read this earlier china has donated an awful lot and will continue to donate a lot of rice and other non-perishable goods thanks to china uh, we're not going to read about the groundbreaking study that uh, something about pot cares. Uh, the guy Sasha Baron Cohen, he was the he does all sorts of imitations, but he's getting a divorce, and he he was pretty funny. He was the one that did Borat, and that's him right there. He's done several different characters. But um, he's uh, breaking up his wife, and his wife must be about four foot eight inches tall. Uh, she is incredibly small, um, unless he's uh, six foot seven. Uh, she's probably like four foot nine or something or less. Incredible. Okay, let's keep going on, on here. Let's see if we can get back to the judge, and we'll close this out. Okay, let's get back here. Let's get back. All right, we'll, we'll be done here shortly. It looks like that's it. Folks, take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.